Welcome to another edition of Take 5. We're in John chapter 7, verse 32. The Pharisees heard the crowd muttering these things. Okay, and these things refers to what we just studied uh, about Jesus possibly being the Christ. Okay, these things about him and the chief priests and Pharisees sent officers to arrest him. Jesus then said, I will be with you a little longer, and then I am going to him who sent me. You will seek me and you will not find me. Where I am, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Where does this man intend to go that we will not find him? Does he intend to go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? What does he mean by saying, You will seek me and you will not find me, and where I am you cannot come? So, you know, they didn't get it. Now, when he talks about the dispersion, um, during uh, when uh, God's judgment came down on Israel, the Jews were scattered all over the place, and so they were in a lot of places. And that's what he's talking about, not just there in Judea, but uh, all over the place. And they, they thought maybe Jesus was going to go start uh, teaching the Jews that were scattered among the Greeks. They really. You know, even saying that he could teach the Greeks. They really just didn't get the fact he was going back to his father. But notice they came to arrest him, but they don't wind up arresting him because his time hadn't come. Verse 37. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive, for as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Now Jesus promised the Holy Spirit after his resurrection, and he ascended back to heaven. He promised he'd send it, and he did send it. You go to Acts chapter 2, that's where you see the Holy Spirit come. But uh, he just says, if you believe in him, you're going to have that living water. That's the Holy Spirit. Verse 40, when they heard these words, some of the people said, this really is the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, Is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not the scripture said that the Christ comes from the offspring of David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. All right. If you're controversial, if people are kind of choosing sides whether they like you or not, you're like Jesus, okay? So at least you got that much going for you. All right, I smile at that. You know why I'm smiling, those of you who watch this program. And, um, you know, the thing is, if they just asked him, that he could have told him he, he was born in Bethlehem, you know, but he wasn't raised in Bethlehem, so they thought he was from Galilee. So they just missed it. You know, they could have just asked some questions. That's the great thing about God. If you're not sure about something, just ask. And the way you ask now is by studying the Scriptures. But also ask God to show you as you study the Scriptures, and you'll learn. Verse 45, the officers then came to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, Why did you not bring him? All right. They had sent these guys to arrest Jesus. Okay. They wound up not arresting him. Listen to their answer. Verse 46, the officers answered, No one ever spoke like this man. And I got to tell you, I get chills when I read that because I have been so blessed, so privileged. For the last nearly year and a half to be teaching Matthew Mark Luke and now John teaching from the greatest teacher who ever lived and it's not even close not even close and I know the Holy Spirit inspired Peter and Paul and James and John and the rest of the writers of the New Testament and the Old Testament but there is nobody in history that ever spoke like Jesus. I love to teach what he taught. I love, I, I imagine myself at his feet listening to him as he's teaching me. So I completely get it when these guys said we couldn't arrest this guy. We never ever heard anything like what this guy is saying. And I'm going to tell you something. Even today, we don't have anybody preaches or teaches like Jesus. Uh, I'm spoiled because I'm, I've been teaching this for so long that it's a little bit of a letdown when I hear other preachers. Just sorry, all you other guys, it's a little bit of a letdown because it doesn't match up to this. Verse 47, the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. Okay, these guys are just negative, and they're out to get Jesus. 
So now they're attacking these guys for listening to Jesus and finding him interesting. Verse 50, Nicodemus, who had gone to him before, now remember, this is the guy that came in John chapter 3, and Jesus talked to him about being born again. And who was one of them said to them, okay, now they asked the question, do any of the, the Pharisees believe in him? Yeah. <laughs> one did, and here's the guy. Now he's not quite bold enough to really say it, but look what he does here. He says, verse 51, does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing? and learning what he does they replied are you from Galilee to search and see that no prophet arises from Galilee all right he told them to search and see but the fact is if they'd searched and seen they'd have seen he came from Bethlehem they didn't search and see they didn't do their homework they made judgments about Jesus without investigating him and that's what a lot of people nowadays do a lot of people reject Christianity, but they've never really investigated it. A lot of people re reject what Jesus saying, said without investigating it. I'm so glad you're investigating it. I'm so glad you're tuning in and watching these broadcasts. And I really hope uh, you're reading a lot more than just what I'm teaching and that you're taking the time to look up these verses and, and make sure that what I'm teaching is in line with what Jesus taught. Hey, we have a tremendous passage next time and I know I went a little over this time but you want to when we talk about nobody ever talked like Jesus you're gonna see it in a big way tomorrow on the next edition of take five <laughs>